Tata Global Beverages is a stock that has rallied 47% this year to hover near record high levels. Remember, the company now houses all of the consumer-facing food and beverage businesses of the Tata Group after the restructuring done in May. Agam Vakil is standing by to tell us what else has changed for the company. Agam, yesterday the whole Tata Group stock, save for TCS, were very, yeah. very active. Yeah. But Tata Global has been on a league of its own off late. Yeah, you know, Neeraj, a couple of weeks ago we spoke about trend. Yes. And now it's Tata Global. Uh, and there are a lot of the relatively smaller companies companies which are starting to you know count and make sure that they are counted in the Tata group in terms of the growth and this was also a surprise for me because we when I saw the returns of 47% gains for the on a year-to-date basis and this is against the FMCG sector gaining only 1% on a year-to-date basis and of course the nifty had advancing by around 11% it's it's a case of clear out performance uh, so that led me to go ahead and see the reasons why we are looking at this rally in Tata Global Beverages. Naturally, growth will be right at the top of the list. So if you actually consider the way growth has been through FY18 and FY19, and from there onwards, what analysts polled by Bloomberg are suggesting in terms of growth, you see that from no growth at all in FY18, analysts are expecting 12.5% in FY20 and 12% year-on-year growth in FY21. Straight into double digits and some very uh, prominent numbers here too. But let's not stop just at growth. Let's also talk about profitability because this is where things are becoming a little more interesting too. So, uh, you know, th the yellow line of course shows your, your EBITDA margins number and uh, it's it's managed to sustain in over the t over 10 percent mark but again we are expecting uh, it to move higher around 12 and a half to 13 percent in fi20 and fi21 this is of course once again based on uh, bloomberg uh, poll analysts and well as you can see you can uh, a very clear Im improvement in your earnings per share as well is what is expected so growth coming in place as well as profitability the question is that what is it that's driving these factors in so right at the top of course uh, we know that just a couple of years ago and oh, in fact the last two years has been about restructuring so the Tata group has exited their you know non-profitable businesses in South Africa as well as China they've restructured their Russian businesses uh, and you know it has taken all the focus away and now it's only going to be in India and UK in terms of its top brands the f coming down to focus on top brands 90% of their revenues come from these brands and more importantly perhaps the, the company is now going to focus on its core business of uh, tea coffee and well uh, you know, packaged water. It's something that has been driving growth and you know there, there was a, lo a loss of focus in about five years ago and that is coming back to its core business. That said, among the other factors too, you know, let's not forget that uh, Tata's chemicals, salt business, and some of the other consumer, uh, you know, uh, facing products has have also become a part of Tata Global Beverages. The salt business itself has an addressable market of around 77,000 crores. This, of course, also aids, uh, you know, Tata Global Beverages in terms of, well, the, the salt. Of course, it's a very crowded market when it comes to, uh, well, packet salt. But that said, well, it's certainly something that will come in uh, aid of uh, Tata Global Beverages. And of course, we have to talk about Starbucks because uh, this is one thing. You know, but again, a couple of years ago, well, there, were all, there was all sort of conjecture whether or not their joint venture with Starbucks will turn up or no. But the fact that they have been able to substantially scale and the fact that they're, they're looking to expand very aggressively as far as Starbucks is concerned is also something that will aid bottom line for Tata Global Beverages. So these are the many factors which are behind which we have seen uh, this gains in Tata Global Beverages. Of course, this is your breakup overall in terms of what we can expect in FI21 with respect to how things can pan out. So of course, a large part of it will be tea if you consider India and overseas, followed by Tata Coffee, which is a very, very important subsidiary for Tata Global Beverages, and salt, which, becomes, which now becomes a part of uh, TGBL as well. Uh, that said, let's, let's talk about what the street actually thinks about Tata Global and where it stands with respect to, uh, well, you know, what, what its valuations are. So uh, naturally, it's trading near life, life, life high, so it is going to be trading at a little bit of a premium 
to its five-year average. But look at that. There's not a significant gap between its FI20 estimated 37 times as against its five-year average of 33 times. Sure, it's had a problem with profitability over the last five years, which is why its average PE may be mm -hmm. higher. But um, that said, there, there, there very well may be a case because a lot of other companies trending at life highs are trending at twice their five-year average. Finally, coming down to your analyst ratings. Again, we have eight buy calls and two sell calls. Uh, return potential may be a problem currently because it's, it indicates a 2% decline there, but it, which means it's fully priced in all the positives and negatives for that matter. 12-month target of around 312. But analysts remain positive, constructive, and should we see more progress, the, you very well may expect a little more uh, up move for the, the, the stock. If anything, uh, people would argue that their five-year average multiples are only 32 or 33 because they've had some issues. If right. indeed they sort out some of these, absolutely, then the right valuation could be higher. Consumer businesses are really skyrocketing. Absolutely, absolutely agree with you because Neeraj, because a lot of the other FMCG companies easily trade above 40, 45 times. So I mean, uh, there is no reason why Tata Global may could not should it get its act in place, and of course, its expansion plans also fall in line.